Hi. Now in this question then, what I've done is I've drawn the right solid right cylinder here and we've got the radius r centimeters and the height is h centimeters. Remember we're given that the total surface area is 800 centimeters squares and we've got to show that the volume v is given by 400 r minus pi r cubed. So, how do we set about doing this? Well, first of all, if we've got to get the volume, then what I'm going to do is work out the volume of a cylinder. And being a prism, it's going to be the area of the cross section, that of a circle, times the length, which will be the height in this particular example. So therefore, V equals the area of the circle, pi r squared, multiplied by the height, pi r squared h then. Now, what I notice in what we've got to show, we've got the letter h here, and there's no h in what we've got to show. So, I've got to find another way of expressing h in terms of the radius. And to do that, I use this fact here, that the total surface area is 800 centimeter squares. So, what I'm going to say is that since the area, that's the total area, okay, is 800 centimeter squares, then I know that 800 must be equal to, well, how do I find out the total surface area of a cylinder? Well, we've got the two ends, okay, the area of the top and the area of the bottom, both being circles, so the area of one circle is pi r squared. We've got two of them, so I've got two lots of pi r squared. Now to this, I've got to add what we call the curved surface area, the bit that wraps around here. And if you unfolded this, it would be a rectangle. And the height of the rectangle would be h, and the length of the rectangle would be the distance around the outside here, the circumference. So how do you find circumference? Well, it's 2 pi r, okay? And then we need to multiply that by h, so we get the area of what would be, if you unfolded it, a rectangle. Now, I need to make h the subject. But before I start, what I notice is that 2 goes into each of the three terms here. So I might as well divide through by 2 and get that to be 400. That would just go once, and that would go once. So if I subtract pi r squared from both sides, that's going to leave me with pi r h. So we'll have that there. Pi r h equals 400 minus pi r squared. And now I can divide through by pi r to both sides and we get h equals 400 minus pi r squared all divided by pi r. Okay, so I'll call this 2 and what we need to do now is simply substitute, so just write that in here so that hopefully the examiners can follow what we're doing, substitute 2 into number one. So what does this mean? Well it means, let's just come down through here, that therefore the volume V, which was equal to pi r squared times h, now becomes pi r squared times this particular value here, which I'll write in brackets as 400 minus pi r squared, and all of that is divided by pi r. Now, what I can do is cancel the pi's out, so we got that, and I can cancel this r into r squared to leave me with just a single r. So that therefore, when I multiply r with the bracket, what I get is 400 r minus pi r cubed. And that's what we had to show. Okay, so that brings us now to the end of this part of the question.